to come with us to your residence. Now we've got the RAF deployment outside Arvind Kejriwal's residence. Akash Sharma now just getting us these details. These are live visuals of uh, now some increased police bandobas present there, uh, senior officials. Good evening and welcome to Rastax. There is huge drama outside Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal's residence as ED officials are questioning him in connection with the Liquor Gate probe. He's been questioned for the better part of the last couple of hours now. A little past six o'clock this evening, there was a team from the Enforcement Directorate that went to his residence and he's been questioned ever since. Remember, earlier this afternoon, the Chief Minister and his legal team had moved the Delhi High Court asking for interim protection from arrest or any kind of coercive action. A division bench of the Delhi High Court denied any kind of interim protection from arrest to the Chief Minister. Right now, he's being grilled and we are given to understand by top ED sources, even as you see, Aam Aadmi Party supporters and workers are indulging in slogan shouting and protests, are squatting outside the Chief Minister's residence, even though the Delhi police is saying that Section 144 has been imposed outside the Delhi Chief Minister's residence. The Enforcement Directorate sources are indicating to CNN News 18 that the Chief Minister is being evasive in his responses and also that he is not cooperating with the Enforcement Directorate. This, of course, is classic signs of uh, any investigating agency, in this instance, the Enforcement Directorate laying the ground for potentially arresting the Delhi Chief Minister. Remember, this is in connection with the Liquorgate scandal in which already his former Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia is under arrest. Sanjay Singh, the Member of Parliament of the Aam Aadmi Party, he's already under arrest. Uh, a number of functionaries of the Aam Aadmi Party and other alleged middlemen are also under arrest for the last many years now in this case. And the net was slowly but surely closing in on the Chief Minister. These are live pictures of Aam Aadmi Party workers outside the Chief Minister's residence. Remember, the Chief Minister had skipped summons not once or twice, but as many as nine times, including the latest one that was served to him this week. The first time he was issued summons in this case was back in November. So for the last four, four and a half months now, in fact, the Chief Minister has been evading the summons. The latest one, the ninth one, was today. Like I said, he moved the High Court expecting some form of interim relief, some form of interim protection, if you will, from arrest. But that was denied to him by a division bench of the Delhi High Court. There's also heavy security outside the Delhi Chief Minister's residence right now. Like I said, top Aam Aadmi Party leaders and ministers have arrived there. The workers are chanting slogans and, you know, are trying to create a mahal, as they say, an environment, as they say, where they are making this out to be, uh, and this is an allegation from the opposition, a political charge from the opposition for a number of uh, months and years now that the Modi government is targeting opposition leaders and opposition candidates uh, at times in a vicious manner to try and shut down uh, political opposition to the Modi government and using these alleged corruption cases to shut down the political opposition. Let me go across first uh, to my colleague uh, Ananya, who's joining us from outside the Chief Minister's residence. Just describe the scene around you, uh, Ananya, for our viewers. We can see rapid action force. We can also see at the other end, uh, protesters of the Aam Aadmi Party. What is going on both outside his house and inside the Chief Minister's residence? Well, definitely, Zaka, it's a high-level drama night right here outside the Delhi Chief Minister's residence, the RAF, the, uh, the, the paramilitary forces, and also, in fact, the Delhi police officials along with the protesters of the Ahmadi Party here outside the Chief Minister's residence. Uh, soon after, in fact, the enforcement directory teams entered the <coughs> Delhi Chief Minister's house. They wanted to question him in the Delhi excise policy case. Remember, very key question. The Delhi High Court denying any kind of interim protection to him in this particular case. Not only this, he has faced two complaints from the enforcement directorate for being a public servant and keeping the orders of a law enforcement. 
Agency under Section 174, not the Indian Penal Code, and has to secure a bill in that particular case as well. So very clearly and categorically, in those Ahmad Ti Party spending, Mr. Adin Sejua, in this particular case, there are the sources in the Ahmad Ti Party legal team have also confirmed this bill, and we've seen very, very clearly and categorically that they are making all attempts to seek the urgent hearings before the Supreme Court of India. The petition has already been filed via e-filing, and in fact, any sign of uh, urgent mentioning is being attempted so that uh, they're, they're contacting the registrar's uh, mentioning of the Supreme Court. They're also trying to get an uh, urgent hearing. They're trying to push in their request to the Chief Justice of India for an uh, urgent listing. But whether or not that is allowed, only time can tell us or the Chief Justice of India himself. So very clearly and categorically, we'll have to wait and watch for that. But it is a definitely high drama night at the Delhi Chief Minister. All yes, right, it, it clearly up. is a lot of drama. In fact, his uh, supporters, they are protesting outside the Chief Minister's residence. That's happening on one end. At the other end, you can see the blue uniformed uh, security personnel. They are the rapid action force. There are also CRPF personnel. Uh, Delhi police, of course, is there. We've been given to understand that the top honchos of the Delhi police are all there outside the Chief Minister's residence to try and prevent any kind of untoward incident. But it looks like uh, the grounds are being laid for an imminent arrest of the Delhi Chief Minister. Anshul is also joining us live now. Anshul, what is going on inside? Questioning has been going on for the better part of uh, more than two hours now. It started a little past seven o'clock this uh, evening when an ED team reached the Delhi Chief Minister's residence. Tell us and tell our viewers, what is it that the ED is, is telling you uh, as they're trying to make a case for why Kejriwal could potentially be arrested? Uh, so yes, the case of enforcement directorate got even more stronger after the arrest of K. Kavita and that is the reason why the enforcement directorate now wants to question Arind Kejriwal with the newfound facts in this entire matter because remember in the remand note that we had access out here at CNN News 18 that also had clearly narrated that how Arind Kejriwal was practically the kingpin of this entire alleged liquor policy scam that happened out here in the national capital and at this point in time what sources from the investigating team are telling CNN News 18 is that the CM somewhere of the or the other is trying to be evasive of the questions that are being asked by the Delhi Chief Minister. This could eventually spell more trouble for the Delhi Chief Minister at this point in time as we speak. What action will the enforcement directorate will take? That is something that remains to be seen. But outside the residence, in fact in this entire area, VVPI area of civil lines, Section 144 has been imposed. People have been stopped from coming anywhere close to the Delhi Chief Minister's residence. A handful of supporters have reached over here. But if you could see the traffic situation outside, uh, right outside the gates of the Delhi Chief Minister's residence, you can see that there is a heavy traffic starts. Police personnel and central uh, forces that have been deployed over here are in numbers of hundreds who are already stopping people, already stopping vehicles from coming anywhere close to the Delhi Chief Minister's residence. Not only this, but uh, drones are also being used over here to keep an eye out at each and every movement to make sure that the situation remains under control. What we are, uh, what we can confirm as well that senior police officials of the Delhi, Delhi Police, including the, uh, including DCP of the uh, North area, is inside the residence of Delhi, uh, Delhi Chief Minister at this point in time as we speak as well. So definitely, the manner in which the arrangements are being made, we can expect a big action that could come forth. In the, next few, in the next few minutes or probably in the next few hours. What we can also confirm to our viewers is that four to five uh, mobile phones have been seized by the enforcement directorate. Along with that, two tablets have also been taken into custody by the enforcement directorate already, uh, which means that the enforcement directorate is collecting evidences from inside the residence of the, of the Delhi Chief Minister. So definitely, it seems like that more trouble is mounting for the Delhi Chief Minister. We are still awaiting uh, from the side uh, an official confirmation from the side of enforcement directorate as to what action they could take. But the investigating officer of this entire uh, liquor policy scam is inside the residence of the Delhi Chief Minister. He is questioning him as as to the uh, as to uh, what more information can he provide to the enforcement directorate uh, regarding the alleged liquor scam that happened out here uh, in the nas national capital because the allegations against the Delhi Chief Minister is actually very very uh, very very serious and especially after the arrest of K Kavita and how people have now uh, or the accused or the people who have turned witnesses in this entire matter have taken the name of Delhi's Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal as to how he was in contact with K Kavita as well and how he had asked for an 100 crore rupee kickback 
to be given. Uh, All right, Anshul, just give me a moment. Bandi. Right now, right now, we don't have confirmation of this, but there are unconfirmed reports that Kejriwal has been arrested. Remember, the ED sources were telling CNN News 18 that he was being non-cooperative, that he was being uh, evasive when, uh, to their questions. Uh, that, of course, is a classic situation when an accused person is not cooperating with the investigation. That becomes grounds for arresting that individual concern. So that information we had got about 20 minutes or so back. Now there are unconfirmed reports. Like I said, it is unconfirmed as of right now that Mr. Kejriwal has already been arrested by uh, the Enforcement Directorate. Remember, you can see now Delhi Police uh, teams going in. Uh, some of them are uh, moving through the barricades. They are pushing back. They are pushing back uh, the protesters. They are being taken out through those buses that had been parked outside the Chief Minister's residence. So many of the protesters are being removed from uh, right outside the Chief Minister's residence. But huge drama going on right outside the Chief Minister's residence with the protesters there. And like I said, we are still awaiting confirmation from our reporters, definitive confirmation. Only after that, we're going to put it out on air. Right now, there are unconfirmed reports which seem to be suggesting that uh, the, uh, the Chief Minister is arrested. But here on CNN News 18, we are not confirming that. But... The information that we had up until 10 minutes ago was that the chief minister was allegedly being evasive and non-cooperative in the questioning that's been going on from a little past 7 o'clock this evening. And therefore, that in instances in the past, and if you look at all classic legal cases in the past, that has been the reason why an accused person has been taken into custody because he or she was allegedly non-cooperative and the answers that he or she was giving was being evasive. So that's what we have as of now. Uh, let, me, let me try and stay with our reporters for now till we get, all right, till we get confirmation of, uh, of the arrest. But right now, like I said, what we do have is that uh, Mr. Kejriwal is being questioned for the better part of the last two hours and about 10 minutes or so now. There is huge drama outside his residence. There are teams of the Rapid Action Force. There are teams of the Delhi Police, teams of the CRPF who have all been deployed. You can see some of them taking away, the Delhi Police teams taking away some of the protesters who had gathered outside Kejriwal's residence who were indulging in sloganeering, uh, making this into a protest. Of course, if you're in the political opposition to, uh, to Kejriwal, then you would call this some kind of a tamasha, some kind of a drama. But clearly there is a lot of drama outside Mr. Kejriwal's residence. There is Section 144 that's been imposed. So this would be in violation of Section 144. But that, you could also argue, is to try and avoid any kind of untoward situation in the event that the Chief Minister is getting arrested. So Ananya, uh, there are unconfirmed reports doing the rounds. There are other media channels that are running this. We are not until we get confirmation, definitive confirmation from one of our reporters on the ground that Mr. Kejriwal uh, has been arrested. So far, there is no definitive confirmation of that. But what we did hear from ED sources, Ananya, and walk our viewers through this, is that Mr. Kejriwal was being evasive, non-cooperative in the investigation. Is this classic legal... All right, let's, uh, let's listen to Atishi, who's just speaking outside the Chief Minister's house. ये बिल्कुल साफ था जितनी भारी संख्या में पुलिस आई थी जितनी भारी संख्या में पैरामिलिट्री फोर्सेस यहां पे स्टेशन थे कि आज ईडी अरविंद केजरीवाल जी को अरेस्ट करने के लिए आ रही है अरविंद केजरीवाल का अरेस्ट भारतीय जनता पार्टी की और प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी की एक राजनीतिक साजिश है प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को अगर किसी एक नेता चीफ मिनिस्टर हैज बीन अरेस्टेड दिस इज अ ह्यूज Developing story. This is a big breaking story, ladies and gentlemen. A sitting chief minister, the sitting chief minister of Delhi, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, has been arrested in the liquor gate probe. Remember, he had approached the Delhi High Court asking for protection earlier today. That was denied by a division bench. And basis that the ED has been questioning him since a little past seven o'clock this evening. After two hours plus of questioning, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, the Delhi Chief Minister, has been arrested. Now, he will be taken away from his residence. 
He will be taken to the ED office. Of course, they can keep him there for about 24 hours, after which he will have to be produced before a magistrate where the ED will ask for further custody. But for now, Chief Minister of Delhi, Arvind Kejriwal, has been arrested in the liquor gate scandal. Many other political netas have also been arrested in this case. The latest, of course, was K. Kavita, the BRS chief. Before that, Manish Sisodia, Sanjay Singh. And now, today, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has been arrested by the Enforcement Directorate. Arunima has more details. Arunima. It was all building up to this. When the Enforcement Directorate probe team said that their Chief Minister was being evasive in his answer, that was like the last indication of where this is heading. And now, you know, what we are hearing from sources, though I must qualify by saying that Enforcement Directorate officially is still uh, sightless, but what we are hearing from sources on ground is that the arrest memo has been served. So the process of taking the Chief Minister into custody has begun. Uh, what happens here on is that, uh, you know, there will, there will be formalities, the paperwork will be completed, the arrest memo will be signed, a copy of which will be given to him. There will be two witnesses as well. And then the process of uh, bringing Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal to the ED headquarters uh, will begin. He'll be, he'll be brought to the ED headquarters. Uh, ED team will have about 24 hours to present him in a court to seek custody. But given the kind of chaos that we're seeing outside the Chief Minister's residence, uh, this will be easier said than done. Um, now the real challenge begins because if he's brought out from the main door, there could be complete breakdown and that's why CRPF, RAP and Delhi Police has been deployed. At the ED headquarters also, there's heavy bandobas that has been put up. Uh, there are barricades that have been put up, police deployment also. Um, so ED was, was preparing uh, for this. After nine summons, I think they, they just thought that this was the best way to seek cooperation. Arvind Kejriwal, the Chief Minister of Delhi, is now in ED's custody. What, what is the charge against the Delhi Chief Minister? Or what uh, grounds has, been, has he been arrested? See, he was, he was given uh, a notice under Section 50 of PMLA, and that is the section under which uh, the investigating officer took a call uh, that he cannot be questioned as a witness. He has to be questioned uh, as an accused in this particular case. The charge against him is of criminal conspiracy, of robbing the exchequer of at least 100 crores, and then using the proceeds of the crime, laundering the proceeds of the crime in a way so that the Ahmadmi Party's election campaign in Goa and other places uh, were, uh, you know, were really aided. Uh, so that's the broad charge. But when the when the remand application is produced, I will not be surprised if you also see details about how there was destruction of evidence, details about how Arvind Kejriwal was actively part of the conspiracy and yet in the cabinet meeting that happened where this liquor policy was approved of, he chose to put the owners completely on Manish Sisodia who was then the excise minister. So all these charges are likely to follow. The reason ED wants him in custody is to look for more evidence. There are digital devices which have been seized. Uh, extraction of information from those digital devices will also be carried out by the enforcement directorate uh, before they produce their charge sheet. All right, let me also go across to my colleagues Ananya and uh, Anshul, both of whom are joining us out from outside Mr. Kejriwal's residence. So we now have confirmation from Arunima, we have confirmation from our investigations editor Manoj Gupta that Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, the Delhi chief minister, has been arrested in the 100 crore liquor gate scam. Uh, Ananya, what are you seeing around you? And again, walk our viewers through what is the case that the ED has built against Mr. Kejriwal? Because up until recently, he was not even mentioned as an accused in the various charge sheets that have been filed in this case so far. Well, definitely, he though have not, uh, has not been made an accused in this particular case so far. But he had been, uh, you know, asked to, uh, to come for questioning for last uh, uh, nine summons. He has skipped all of them, created a ground for, uh, in fact, non-cooperation, which is a clear ground under Section 19 of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act, which is the power to arrest of the Enforcement Directorate. You can see visuals right behind me. These are uh, from the Chief Minister's residence. But what is very, very clear, you know, the allegations, uh, Zaka against Arvind Kejriwal, number one, being that he had met Ms. K. Kavita and in fact had demanded her of 100 crore of, uh, of this 100 crore, 50 crore were being arranged by Vice RCP MP Manguta Reddy. She had asked him to do so and the other half was being arranged by in fact her own team. Not only that, he was a part of those meetings that had taken place while the particular policy, the flouty policy was actually being drafted. His residence was the place where these meetings had taken place. These are statements of none other than C. Arvind, who is the former secretary of the former Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sodia. In fact, a note was also handed over to him 
for printing. This was the draft policy which was also available with the South Lobby which had paid kickbacks in order to receive a favourable liquor policy in the national capital. Another big charge against Arvind K. Jriwal is that he had welcomed Mr. Manguta Reddy's son Raghav Manguta's entry into the Delhi liquor business and his company uh, in, uh, in the Delhi liquor business. Not only that, uh, Vijay Nair was his uh, boy is what he had so told Mr. Samir Mahindru on a, on, a, on a FaceTime call. These are the allegations against him. Various people have given out statement against, in fact, the, the Delhi Chief Minister. He had been asked to uh, by the Enforcement Directorate since the last year to come and appear before it, but very clearly and categorically denying all those nine summons he had been creating a ground for, in fact, non-cooperation. And as you know, Zaka, we were discussing earlier as well, from yeah. the very beginning, each summons skipped and in a case under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act is like digging up your own grave, taking the fate to your own hands. And finally, you can see Arvind K. Jriwal being arrested by the enforcement right. directorate in this Let me also, case. we have a whole bunch of guests from BJP, Amadmi Party, other opposition parties, lawyers, uh, etc. who are joining us in just a moment. But I also want to quickly go across to Anshul, who is joining us from outside uh, Mr. Kejriwal's residence. What is the political uh, uh, posturing and the political sloganeering that you're seeing uh, outside Mr. Kejriwal's residence? Given this kind of an environment outside, uh, how easy or difficult would it be uh, to, for the ED officials and the other security personnel, Delhi police and other security personnel who are present there, uh, to take him from his residence to the ED office, presumably? Well, it's going to be a very uphill task for the Delhi police to actually manage the law and order situation. You can see individuals by, behind me. These are all the protesters that are still gathering over here. A few of them have gone to the other gate because they suspect that the chief minister could be taken out from the other end of the road. And hence, they are making sure that from wherever uh, he could be taken out, they could actually uh, try and stop them uh, from taking him to the enforcement directorate office. On the, on the other hand, if I could so, show you the traffic situation as well, this would uh, give the viewers an exact sense as to how difficult is, is it going to be uh, for the Delhi police and the enforcement directorate and the CRPF who has been deployed on the ground to take the Delhi chief minister uh, to the enforcement directorate. There is a massive traffic snarl that has already happened out here and the traffic is absolutely at a standstill at this point in time. On the other hand, the sources within the enforcement directorate are telling us that Arvind Kejriwal was constantly being ev evasive of the questions that were being asked to him and the enforcement directorate in uh, investigating officer is not satisfied with the manner in which the Delhi chief minister is okay. answering and hence he has decided that a custodial interrogation could be the best way to make sure that Arvind Kejriwal answers the questions in this entire, entire matter. So yes, it remains to be seen when will the Delhi chief minister be taken out, but he has been arrested. The Delhi police is trying to clear the roads, trying to make a green corridor so that the chief minister could be taken uh, to the uh, enforcement directed office with utmost safety. But yes, it is going to be a very, very long haul. Okay. And task uh, for the we'll Delhi come back to our reporters, and to Anshul, Ananya, Arunima, as soon as we see the first pictures of Mr. Kejriwal being brought out. Let me open this up to our guests who are joining us. This is a breaking, developing story, a huge one which has political ramifications and legal ramifications as well. Abab Singh Grewal, a spokesperson of the Ahmadmi Party, R.P. Singh, spokesperson of the BJP, Sanjeev Srivastav, senior journalist joining us. Sumit Chandar is a lawyer and constitutional expert. Ashutosh Srivastav, uh, also lawyer. Piyush Joshi, political analyst, also joining us. Uh, let me start with you, Mr. Grewal, if you're there. The Delhi chief minister has been arrested. Uh, the ED says he avoided summons, he uh, skipped the summons as many as nine times, including the latest one today. He went to the Delhi High Court, which refused to give him any kind of interim protection, and therefore the ED had no choice but to arrest him. If he had nothing to hide, Mr. Kejriwal should have shown up to their office in any of these summons and answered their questions. Mr. Jacob, uh, thank you. Uh, I just uh, request three minutes, just three minutes. You've got a galaxy of guests, just three, three un un uninterrupted minutes. First of all, we have a saying in Punjabi, GIN, you are welcome. You arrest us, you are welcome. 212 raids, nothing found, you are welcome. ED uh, catches somebody's 490 crore uh, property uh, seizures. Uh, Mr. Santiago Martin, by the way, his name was, and 1600 crores, uh, like he gives in bonds, not a big deal. Mega construction, not a big deal. And PMLA Act, which uh, I'm sure your reporters were so uh, uh, good and on about, which they said, and they listed the whole case. This is man said this, this man said this, this person this said this. They haven't found a, found a repeat. And just like, just like the electoral bonds were declared unconstitutional after five years, 
but the BJP got 12,930 crores during that time. Well, big shakes. This will be knocked off in September. It's coming up for hearing in September, but they want that they, 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 they through the elections that time. Now, I'll give you a fresh perspective. I'm talking from Punjab. Punjab is the state which gave four MPs to Ahmadi Party when Mr. Kejriwal started. We are proud. We are proud of the fact that Mr. Pagwantman goes all over the country supporting secularism, federalism, and the rule of the law and the rule of the institutions with Mr. Kejriwal. We have earned it. I have fought for this right for the past 12 years, and we are proud of this. Thirdly, you are more than welcome to arrest any of our leaders. You say corruption. Uh, 338 crores was the last time the Supreme Court was shown a piece of paper saying it is, 338 is written. You said 100 crores. Well, I'm, I'm, you might need to make up for the discrepancy. What is the what is the liquor gate? Now that liquor gate, the same liquor policy in Punjab has brought in 4,000 crores and average more for the state exchequer. Well, that that might be very wrong. That policy was never implemented. Mr. Kejriwal never signed up for anything. He does not have any department. And thank you very much for giving a detailed, detailed description of everything. And okay. the BJP. I have another Punjabi saying, Atte Khudala Vair Hunda, to see Khuda Kise Paya RP Singhji, Samaj Honda, Pagwan Ram, to see Bacha Samaj Dio, to see E Kita, Ke Modi Ji Sara Kushkade, and you have ruined the institutions and you're trying to. But okay, we are. Let me bring in yes, your fellow Punjabi uh, on the other side. Mr. R.P. Singh is also joining us because uh, Mr. S Mr. Singh, uh, Mr. R.P. Singh, you know, first thing in the morning, Congress party says their accounts have been frozen. Democracy has been frozen. Last thing in the night, Mr. Kejriwal, sitting chief minister, has been arrested. Uh, I can't recall too many times when sitting chief ministers have been arrested in India. Uh, so please respond to the charge by the AAP, by the Congress, other opposition parties that Mr. Modi's government is stifling democracy and killing the opposition. Well, I'll come to that uh, uh, after my first uh, point. That is that Kejriwal last six months have been avoiding and ducking and have been skipping the uh, AD's summon. It started way back in November. It is now March. And every time he has a new ground or new excuse or some pretext like Diwali or some pretext like Vipassana or elections or something. Now now, now it is the parliament election, it was earlier the assembly elections. So he has been under some protection. But the real thing came and he was exposed yesterday when he went to the court and said that he should be not allowed to be arrested. That was the real reason. He was trying to avoid all this so that he can, he can't he should not be arrested. And that's what Abhishek Manushin said in the court also. And that's why they are trying to move to the Supreme Court for the same. But fact is that yes, scam has happened. I'll give you one example and that will prove my point. There's this guy named Rajinder Singh, uh, uh, a Gujarati guy who was contesting, who contested election on behalf of uh, Kejriwal in Gujarat. He was caught red-handed with a huge, huge uh, trunk of money. When he was caught, he was asked, whose money is this? He said, oh, this is not my money. This money has come from Delhi uh, for the election. And uh, this is a man, my driver, is a conduit for sending, he used the word angry, is a conduit for sending money from Delhi to here. So all this liquor scam money was used to contest and win elections. And so was in Punjab also the money with which they went, won elections in Punjab was a liquor scam money. So this is a big scam which has happened and then they have to answer the question. Their, their, their fellow uh, minister like Mr. Satinja Jain has applied for bail for almost 22 times, Mr. Uh, Manish Sosodia for 15 times and Mr. Sanjay Singh for 7 times. Every time the bail has been rejected, had there been they had there any ground, they could have got the bail. And one more thing, sir. Okay. They arrested. Give me a second. Another five seconds. They arrested five of the Congress former ministers in Punjab by the Vigilance Department under corruption charges, and that was okay. That was all okay because they arrested it. They arrested them. So, when you do it, then everything is fine. And then he does it. Then it's all questionable. Okay. So let me let me bring in Sanjeev Shrivastav, Sumit Chandar, Ashutosh Shrivastav, Piyush Joshi as well. Uh, Mr. Uh, Sanjeev Srivastav, you, you know, the point is you've had in the space of the last month or so two sitting chief ministers, first Hemant Surain in Jharkhand, and now you have Arvind Kejriwal, the Delhi chief minister, being arrested, both in alleged corruption cases. Uh, there doesn't seem to be a political fallout, at least in, a, in any consequential way, up until now, because in public perception, Mr. Modi is waging a war against corruption. 
in public perception it's Modi's fight against the allegedly corrupt India Alliance. Very good evening, uh, Raka. So, you, in a way, you are right. But like you said in your intro, that this is one of those remarkable days when in the morning you had a presser by Rahul Gandhi saying the Congress accounts being frozen is like democracy being frozen. And before the night is out, in fact, it's late evening only, the Delhi chief minister is arrested. So, for an election, which according to every uh, media outlet, observers, is already a done and dusted deal. The only controversy or debate is as to whether the BJP will cross last time's margin and with how much, uh, what kind of numbers will it be, 350, 370, 400. In that kind of an election where the outcome is uh, seen as an open and shut case, there is just no dearth of drama. And which is fascinating. That why is all this happening at this time? In the specific case of Mr. Kejriwal, it's uh, it's very difficult really to defend him in this because from from lit, from what we know and we gather there was a case of a chief minister who never was who never took on a portfolio he never signed a file so he was always very cautious and being too clever by half if you may allow me to say so number two this kavita's arrest was the last nail in the, the proverbial coffin that when you have somebody as high profile who's going to sing against Mr. K. Kriwa, that was more or less a done Avoiding someone there. So it's very difficult to defend him. The only thing is the timing. And now the BJP will say, what can we do? Law takes its own course. They don't see what the time is, day, night, elections. But the whole manner in which the BJP is going across the country. The only thing I always say is... Uh, Yes, Arvind Kejriwal may be corrupt. It's likely there is something wrong with this liquor deal. We'll find out. The courts will have a say. But is all corruption only in opposition? Are there some kind of... What kind of a Teflon? What kind of a whitewash? What kind of holy people are running this government? There's not one single case which ever one of these agencies, all their intellect, might have uh, understanding of the law and execution of the law is all directed towards people who are politically opposed to the BJP. Okay. Let me let me ask Sumit uh, Chandar. Sumit Chandar is a lawyer and constitutional expert. Well, we don't know the provisions of uh, the PMLA under which Mr. Kejriwal has been arrested. Presumably, we'll get to know that uh, once he's produced in court. But apparently, under Section 50, uh, and, there, and I believe there's a Delhi High Court ruling recently regarding uh, Section 50 under which many other op opposition political figures have been arrested. That mere non-evasiveness to questions or non-cooperation in the probe uh, cannot be a grounds for arrest. Uh, that was one of the Delhi High Court judgments. Can you take our viewers through under what provisions could Mr. Kejriwal be potentially be arrested? Because now we know that he has been formally uh, arrested. The arrest memo has been served on him. Uh, the papers are being readied now and once the papers are readied and signed, he will be brought out and taken to the ED office for questioning. But this whole amended PMLA and particularly Section 50 has been the subject of intense legal scrutiny. Mr. Sumit Chandar. Yes, see, Zaka, there is before the arrest, the power of arrest under the PMLA is given under Section 19. And of course, the arrest has been made under Section 19, provided that certain actions have been taken place which have resulted in this arrest. Now, if I look at Section 45 of the PMLA Act, if you read that carefully, which of course uh, gives you the uh, regards the offenses uh, or under the PMLA Act, it says that even under PMLA Act, there are certain uh, reasons why the bail may be granted or why a relief from the arrest may be granted. In that, three basic things have been given. One is that the public prosecutor has been given an opportunity to oppose the application. Fair enough, nothing wrong about it. Second is that there is a reasonable ground for believing that he is not guilty of such an offense. Now, that is the kind of a provision which is going to be actually hyped upon. Facts will be produced by the investigating authority who are going to mainly focus on the grounds which will make the court believe that he is actually guilty of certain offense so that you know the arrest can be taken to a logical conclusion 
and the third is that he is not likely to commit any offence while on bail. So another thing which the ED is going to focus on whether as the chief minister, as a sitting chief minister, he definitely has power, but is he or is he not likely to commit any offence while on bail? Now, these are the things which has to be produced and this uh, these things have to be produced uh, and Mr. Kejriwal has to be produced before the magistrate or the concerned court within 24 hours of arrest. Now, these things will be taken up. Of course, Supreme Court has already now seized of the matter. High Court, this matter was already pending before the High Court. High Court has issued notice. So, the matter is already subject is before the High Court. Okay. Now, a protection relief has been sought from the Supreme Court, which might be taken up. There have been earlier instances also where Supreme Court had taken up late night issues of such. Yeah. Uh, but I just want to add, uh, before I bring in Ashto Srivastava and Piyush Joshi, generally in matters concerning PMLA, and there have been other political leaders, opposition politicians who have been arrested under PMLA, from Satinder Jain to Manish Sisodia, uh, Hemant Surain. Uh, generally in PMLA cases, the courts have been reluctant to uh, intervene in such matters, certainly not any kind of midnight hearing. We've not seen that in uh, any of these cases so far. But generally, they have been reluctant to intervene in it because the provisions of the law as they exist are that the uh, uh, investigating authority, the prosecuting authority has uh, powers to arrest and to take coercive action in case of non-cooperation by an accused person. But Ashutosh Srivastava, uh, you know, one of the contentions that was made after the arrest of uh, Ms. K. Kavita uh, earlier over the weekend was that once her arrest happened, it was all, only a matter of time before Arvind K. Jival was also arrested because it is after Kavita's arrest, and I have the note here uh, which, was, which was shared after Kavita's arrest. I'm just going to read from that before I come to you, Mr. Srivastav. According to a statement that was put out by the ED after Kavita's arrest, Kavita, along with others, quote, conspired with the top leaders of AAP, including Arvind K. Jival and Manish Sisodia, for getting favors in the Delhi excise policy formulation and implementation. This was the first time that Mr. Kejriwal's name was taken in an official document put by the Enforcement Directorate. So, do you think after the weekend arrest of Ms. Kavita, this was just a matter of time? Mr. Kejriwal's arrest was going to be imminent? See, it depends on the co-accused statement and also the statements given by different witnesses. And if the investigating agency, that is ED in this case, is satisfied that there are sufficient prima facie uh, evidences against uh, Mr. Kejriwal based on the statement of uh, Ms. Kavita or maybe other accused or the witnesses. Then in that case, as we know that under Section 50, they can issue uh, summons to the accused to come and, uh, you know, give the statement and uh, uh, cooperate in the investigation. And when the person or the accused or the witness doesn't come, they have the powers under Section 19 of PMLA to arrest that person if they feel that the custodial interrogation of that person or accused or witness is uh, important and crucial so far as that uh, investigation uh, they are conducting is concerned. And see, as we know that uh, in all these matters, it all happens under the super supervision of the special court. So it is not that only ED, of course, has the powers given under uh, PMLA, which was also challenged before the Supreme Court earlier. But the Supreme Court also had confirmed that considering the, uh, you know, the Prevention of Money Laundering Act and its provisions and uh, uh, considering the uh, powers being conferred upon to the, uh, to the Enforcement Directorate, there is nothing wrong. They have all these powers to do. And here in this case, if we see that obviously nine summons were served, but, uh, you know, Mr. Kejriwal had, uh, you know, either of the options uh, that was either to go and cooperate in the investigation okay. and help the investigation agency, whatever they needed, any uh, documentation or his statements or a clarity right. on any, uh, you know, issue or else he had the option to challenge the, that summons before the appropriate court. But now we see uh, that after nine summons, when he approached uh, Delhi High Court for quashing or maybe to have the interim relief for no coercive action, uh, Delhi High Court was not convinced and it rejected uh, the, I mean, interim application. Okay. And accordingly, Piyush Joshi is also joining us. He's a political hearing. analyst. You know, the fact that uh, Arvind Kejriwal 
10 or 12 years ago in 2012, 2013, burst into the national consciousness as a corruption crusader, anti-corruption crusader. He was one of the founder members of India Against Corruption. For a person like that, today, after 12 years, he's been arrested in the Liquor Gate Gothala. What a fall this has been, Mr. Joshi. What a fall in public perception this has been for Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, who started off with India Against Corruption. Today, he is being accused as one of the prime beneficiaries of this mega kickback scheme uh, disguised as the Liquor Gate. Well, first and foremost, um, you know, let us uh, go back in history to the days of demonetization. It was a uh, poly it was a big policy failure on behalf of the central government. If you look at uh, the accountancy, if you look at the audits of those, no, uh, no audit was done as to how much loss to the exchequer uh, uh, that demonetization did. As the ex prime minister rightly said, it was a legalized plunder. So today, what has happened? in uh, way of arresting uh, a duly elected chief minister is a legalized atrocity. So the enforcement directorate is leaving no stone unturned to act as an executive arm of the Bharti Janta Party. We have seen that it is already no, no, but acting Mr. Joshi, as an if, uh, if Arvind Kejriwal was squeaky clean that. and that is his public persona, that's his that. public image, he should I have shown up question. for uh, the N number of summons, the nine summons that the ED issued him. I, I, don't, I totally agree with you because Mr. Kejriwal, we are at the fag end of the Lok Sabha election. Mr. Kejriwal was probably, to my mind, was uh, was posturing politically by skipping those summons and uh, was kind of daring the enforcement directorate uh, to do what uh, you know he wanted them to do in any case. So probably this uh, this arrest was uh, maybe unavoidable because if you avoid nine summons and the High Court fails to grant you the relief, then definitely enforcement directorate is well within its rights to arrest. That no, is no. why I so, said so that the it point is, is no, no. The point is this arrest could have been if the if the attempt was that he will try and gain political mileage by pushing it closer and closer to the Lok Sabha election. Then you cannot blame the enforcement directorate for the timing, because Mr. Mr. Kejriwal no, chose the timing. Did, yeah. Had he appeared in Zaka. November when the first summons was issued, Zaka. then you couldn't have made this political timing Zaka. argument. Look, um, Mr. Kejriwal has been very smart at it. You know, he has never said that he is not going to appear. He has all, always uh, said that he is going to appear via video conference. So nobody is uh, blaming ED for the timing. Nobody is blaming ED for uh, arresting Mr. Kejriwal. Everybody is blaming for the partisan way. You know, in in a, it, it it is very clear to each and every citizen of India when it comes to Himant Biswas Sarma, how many summons have been issued in the last nine years? Okay, it's been nine years. How many summons have been issued? And here in a five-month period, you issue nine summons to Arvind Kejriwal, you arrest uh, Hemant Soren, you arrest Arvind Kejriwal, you freeze the accounts of the largest opposition party and you arrest the convener of the fastest growing uh, oppo opposition party. Okay. So, the signals so, are very so clear. RP Singh, please respond. Like I said, from Congress saying their accounts have been frozen in the morning to today, Delhi Chief Minister in the night, uh, post nine o'clock being arrested in the Liquor Gate scandal. Why is it that not one BJP leader of any repute has been raided or arrested or searches or seizures, but all the corruption seems to be with the opposition? Not even someone. RP Singh, right. RP Singh, RP Singh, yeah. Not even. Laka, thank you. On your debate today, the Aam Aadmi Party supporter uh, and sympathizer has accepted. Yes, Mr. Kejriwal was doing uh, or skipping all these summon for political posturing. So if you try to play politics with the... Uh, constitution or with the law agencies, uh, sorry, <coughs> with the agencies, then you have to face the tune of the law. I mean, you can't, you can't skip some summons or you can't show thumb to uh, the ED for nine times. And then that's what Mr. Kejriwal did for his political objectives. But again, as for the income tax department goes, I mean, income tax department, they had gone up, up, uh, gone to all the appellate courts and every, everywhere they, can, they could have gone. They have tried and then uh, their appeal has been rejected. I mean, they are, run, they are running a political party. They are not running a domestic company. I mean, everything is as per law. And if I don't pay tax, obviously the uh, uh, income tax will seize my assets. And same has happened with uh, the uh, Congress party. But who is saying that Congress party don't have money? From well, that 350 crore rupees. I mean, we don't know how many uh, such cash banks Congress party has countrywide. Uh, where, no, no, where, but where Arvi Saab, the larger people. point opposition is making against your government is you're killing the political opposition in this country by unleashing ED, IT, CBI, etc. on them. 
I'll answer that. My one of my friends uh, spoke about Himanshu Vishwa Sharma. Mr. Joshi, I'll give you a challenge. Please hire best of the lawyer in the country. I'll pay the fee from my side. I'm assuring this on uh, on the uh, national channel. Then I'll pay the fee from my side. My side. You win the case. You you uh, my fees is on my uh, my check. But if you lose the case, you pay the double the fees to me because there is no case. When you can keep retreating what you so, want to, so, and then so, 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 the case, Mr. Singh, you are saying Amit Shah, Amit Shah, Amit Shah, you are lying. Can I interfere, Mr. Joshi? Please, I mean, don't hackle like a. Uh, uh, I am not hackling, Baba. Amit Shah, he was lying. You mean to say? No, no. One sec, one sec. One. Well, let him finish. Let R. P. Singh finish. Yeah. Mr. Joshi, accept my challenge. I am telling you, please. I am prepared to pay as much money you spend. Hire Abhishek Manu Singh. We hire one of the best guys who have hired from Mr. Kejriwal, and and move the court. We will pay the fee for that. But if you but with that you have to pay uh, the check double the amount if you lose okay. uh, lose the check. Okay. So let let so let uh, let let Mr. Second. Joshi respond. I'll I'll go to uh, Bab Singh Grewal after that. I need to take a break right after that. Yeah, Mr. Joshi, quick response, please. You know, Singh Sir, you are misplacing the challenge. You know, you are challenging me. You should challenge Amit Shah ji who blamed uh, Himanshu Biswas Sharma of the Louis Berger scam. It was not me. It was the advertisement and it was the speeches of all the honourable Home Minister, Mr. Amit Shah. He blamed uh, Himanshu Biswas Sharma. Ajit Dada Bawar was blamed by Prime Minister Modi. You know, he he said that he is Again, responsible for eleven thousand crore rupees you're, scam. You're, so 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 challenge them. The challenge them. Uh, 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 Mr. Mr. Grewal, Mr. Grewal, today. You, you. Uh, the focus is on Mr. Arvind Kejriwal and his alleged role in this liquor gate scam. I keep going back to this for a man who started in public life and in national attention with the India Against Corruption. Has this not been a fall from grace, a fall from a pedestal, and a fall from an image of being this anti-corruption crusader to today being allegedly the beneficiary of a hundred crore kickback scam, Mr. Grewal? Not at all. Punjab is the first state which which embraced Mr. Kejriwal's ideology, and Punjab is the first state which has now brought a government with Mr. Kejriwal's ideology. And we are proud of the fact that Mr. Man heads that state because he has brought that state that government into power. Number one, nobody has fallen off any pedestal. It was 338 crores. It was this. It was that. The beauty of the fact is that the seven suicidal bomber aunties behind your reporter will make sure that the way is clear. This is what I'm seeing today. This is what I'm seeing today. That the fact of the matter is that you are ready to put everybody, everybody under the scanner without a doubt. And Mr. R P Singh, you don't talk about challenges. You ran from a challenge in Shahkot, sir. Jalandhar by election. Remember. We were there for a debate, and you ran from the, that debate. I challenge you to debate me any time, any time. Sladi chete ya gurdwar jo baati jo pa jisi. Main, main jisi mera mera tu chhod bol deyo, mera tu chhod bol deyo, aur mer mera na gal karyo. Tu o kya kar ko koi video jo haga jethe main kisi debate to rakhya. Main Punjab ko debate karan gaya nahi selection hai. Kripa karke chhod bola band karo. और जेड़ा ਤੁਸੀਂ ਝੂਠ ਦਾ ਬਿਚਾਰਾ ਦਿੱਲੀ ਚਲਾਇਆ ਹੈ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਪੰਜਾਬ ਵਿੱਚ ਦਿੱਲੀ ਦੇ ਸ਼ਰਾਬ ਦੇ ਘੋਟਾਲੇ ਦੇ ਪੈਸੇ ਨੂੰ ਜਿੱਤਿਆ ਇਹ ਤੁਹਾਡੇ ਅੱਗੇ ਆਏਗਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਮ ਗੋਰੋ ਆਮ ਗੋਰੋ ਆਮ ਗੋਰੋ ਟੇਕ ਅ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਪਲੀਜ਼ ਜੈਂਟਲਮੈਨ ਆਮ ਗੋਰੋ ਟੇਕ ਅ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਬਟ ਆਈ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਥੈਂਕ ਆਰ ਗੈਸਟ ਆਲ ਗੋ ਟੂ ਆਰ ਰਿਪੋਰਟਰਸ ਰਾਈਟ ਆਫਟਰ ਦਿ ਬ੍ਰੇਕ ਬਟ ਟ੍ਰਾਈ ਐਂਡ ਗੈਟ ਅ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਚੈੱਕ ਆਫ ਵਾਟਸ ਹੈਪਨਿੰਗ ਥੇਅਰ ਲੈਟਸ ਆਲਸੋ ਟ੍ਰਾਈ ਐਂਡ ਸੀ ਇਫ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਗੈਟ ਸਮ ਲਾਈਵ ਪਿਕਚਰਸ ਵਾਟ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਸੀਇੰਗ ਰਾਈਟ ਨਾਓ ਇਜ਼ ਇੰਟੈਂਸ ਡਰਾਮਾ ਆਊਟਸਾਈਡ ਮਿਸਟਰ ਕੇਜੀਵਾਲਸ ਰੈਜ਼ਿਡੈਂਸ ਆਮ ਆਦਮੀ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਟੈਸਟਰਸ ਸਪੋਰਟਰਸ who were sitting on a sit in dharna outside the chief minister's residence are being taken one by one uh, into buses and of course uh, they'll be detained because section 144 has been imposed outside the chief minister's residence the delhi chief minister ladies and gentlemen has been formally now arrested by the enforcement directorate for his alleged role in the 100 crore liquor gate scam we'll have continuing coverage of this breaking story right on the other side of this quick break